Hello, you guys. You guys. I was doing a reading and somebody sent a text message. I hate when a stupid asses do that shit too because it messes with my reading, so it piss you all off. Let's see what comes out today. Um, if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and share my videos if you get a message. And today, this video is for a Libra, he said. What's Libra need to know today, Spirit? What's Libra need to know today? But you, you, you don't have to have any Libra in you. You can still get a message from here. The Chariot. Maybe you're moving away from a certain situation in your life. You're going to gain a victory and be a success. Look there. Look at that dragon. It's like blowing out fire. Psh, psh. Um, clarify the... Let's see what the story is, and then I'll clarify. Ace of Pentacles. You're charging. You're going towards this Ace of Pentacles. You're going towards this wealth, is what it's saying. Um, you're you're being granted uh, an opportunity from the divine, and and you're going towards it. You could be getting a lump sum of money, and. Um, you could be getting a lump sum of money because you had to stand up for yourself in a certain situation. Yeah, that's what nine of wands. It means wounded warrior in other tarot decks. And in this tarot deck, it means, hang on and I'll tell you. It means uh, that the elders of the clan bear their scars with pride for they are moments of victory carved deep that offers us the strength which they fought to be ours. So see, you bet this is about a, an injustice to you and maybe you had to stand up for a, a, to elders is what it's saying to me. So you had to stand up to yourself with these elders and spirits want to give you a, an opportunity. Ooh, what else, spirit? Oh, wow, look here. Four of Swords. Um, that's uh, feeling uh, in this deck. It means when all are around are demanding your time and energy, that is when we can lose our direction. I am always here to comfort you and aid your rest and contemplation. You was, you'd lost your direction in life. That's what this means, so... So you're, you're moving towards this giant opportunity. You had to stand up for yourself and your beliefs, and you could have had to stand up and defend yourself a bunch against a bunch of elders. And um, they was just demanding of your time. There's demanding of your time, the always. So four swords, there's demanding of your time. And, and um, you was just a very loving person, Ten of Cups. They, they was demanding your time, and they was taking away from your family love and happy. What what makes you feel good, you know? And Ten of Cups, that's happy life, happy family, uh, success in a marriage. So, these people. And then we got Ten of Swords. You had to defend your family. That's what it's saying. Look, Ten of Swords, lies, betrayal, treat cheat in this one it says um they are not as bad as they seem things are not as bad as they seem things is not as bad as it seems that's what this card means right here okay and it said so why do you always put yourself through the self-inflicted turmoil together we can always face the worst so you and your family you all been through a bunch of shit together and you all know how to face it you know can you clarify the chariot clarify the chariot spirit Spirit, can you clarify the chariot for us? Two of swords. Um, how can you say those things you say from the beginning? I gave you my heart, and now you do this to me. I shall not yield. So, so you're moving away from somebody that you've given your heart to for a long time, and and you're. You're moving away from things that they've said about you, this these people or person in your life. Hang on, it flipped around. About you, Empress. Look at her. 
that's running around blabbing their mouth about you, uh, making you feel like you had a different way, or maybe you did have a different way, and you and you you had to you gain clarity. And Empress in this deck means, hang on, I'll tell y'all. Now don't get mad at me. Go ahead and hit a little like and subscribe if you like how I'm doing this. She is a woman of beauty and sensuousness. She offers the creation of life and the nurturing of the passion within us all. She embraces the natural world with a generous and open spirit. See? They was, um... Uh, they didn't understand they was coming up against the Empress, and she is the most powerful in the damn deck. They ain't nobody that can beat you, Empress. You've got the keys to all the kingdom, you know. You... You're ruler of all the queens around him. Can you clarify Ace of Pentacles? Oh, wow. Looky here. You're going to get giant rewards from Divine and Eight of Swords. Um, in this deck means, hang on, I'll tell you. Eight of Swords mean, as if I caught in a circle of light, we don't know which step to take. For darkness is all around. I won't let you stumble. But it is your actions alone that can take you forward. So you, this empress was realizing there was obstacles all around her, but but she uh, she learned how to get through them, you know. And but and you you took action and moved forward in your life is what it's saying, you know. And you. You're being seen as a high priestess now. You can see through all these damn illusions and confusion you was having. And she is the power of the unconscious. You you went to your unconscious mind, you know. A deeper wisdom awaits within the splendor of her wings. She is positive and negative combined. Do you understand? You got positive and negative and you're balanced in it and... And uh, she will call to you to be aware of the greatness within yourself whilst veiling the deeper darkness that lies beyond. So you you knew it was more darkness coming towards you. That's what it's saying to me. And can you clarify nine of wands, wounded warrior? Yeah, the lovers and three of swords and queen of pentacles. Okay. So the lovers, that's, uh, you know, Gemini energy. And that's about... You know, um, partnerships, in a love relationship, uh, sexual relationship. It could be a, a twin flame also. And three of swords, there's a, there's a third party involved, okay? You you understood that, that you was feeling this way, Empress. You had to move away from being, feeling like that because... Um, uh, what was it? You, you couldn't figure out what step to take next, you know, and you were scared you'd stumble, but now you're being seen as a high priestess and you, you so saw through all the bullshit. You're a wire. You, you, I mean, you, you've unveiled the, the darkness that lies beyond you. You know what it is and, and, um, your twin flame loves you and, or you're going towards your 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 twin flame, or you understood that this was a third party in your life, three of swords, and <clears throat> it was always competition. What's this in saying this? Three of swords says, I tell you this in all good faith, be aware of all around you and trust in the goodness that makes you unique. Listen to your inner voice more clearly. So you're very unique, you know, and, and uh, and people know it. What did lovers mean in this? Born on the wings of love, passion, and sensuality. The ability to make good choices and of change. Embrace the light and yet beware of the dark. So that's what the lovers meant. Queen of Pentacles. This Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn um, in your life. And it says, calm your fears. Call on me. I am always here if you should need my help to nurture your dreams. Despite appearances, this is my ability as queen. And this offer is made to you my loyal subject you're someone who is um seen as wealthy in the spiritual and the physical realm you're you know you're a mother you're you're uh very hard working and uh you you got a lot of wealth and can you clarify four of swords four of swords uh you was feeling depressed and apathy because queen 
queen of swords right here. Let's see what it means in you know, on this deck. Queen of Swords means I admire your honesty, but you are not telling your queen everything, are you? How then am I able to aid you if you hold things back from me? So this Queen of Pentacles was holding back from you the truth. All these down swords is coming out. She was been lying and telling shit on you. Also, what swords means a bunch of them. She, you, she know that you was very loving and kind and very fucking smart and clever. You know, Queen of Pinnacle, Queen of Swords is smart. She's got angel wings. Do you understand? Look at her. And the devil, you, you was tied to a, a devil, and this person was addicted to fucking with you. Whatever it took to tire you up or tire you down in your life, that's what they wanted to do. It's queen and king come out of here. So thir three party. They're trying to make you a third party in their life. Is what they're damn doing. Whoever it's reading is for. That's what it's saying to me. And uh, in king of pentacles. See what it says in this. And it says fear me not. For I was once like you. Place your hand upon my shoulder. And follow my light. I shall guide you through the, these dark times. And lead you to new beginnings. So queen of swords. You you are attached to a King of Pentacles that's helping you along the way. You've gained clarity about it, you know it, and I mean it could have been this this Queen over here. It could be a uh, what do you call it? Could be a couple. And happy family, happy life. Yeah, you're balanced in it. See Temperance, Temperance Angel, and in this it means. She contemplates the balance between heaven and earth, the land and the sea. Her composure belies the energy of her temperance, yet in her eye is the glint of unfulfilled desires. So maybe you was feeling unfulfilled in your family life, and maybe you went and blabbed to someone and, or tried to bring somebody else into your life, and Spirit told you, you know, you got to do things the right way, and you can't go around lying, cheating, and then here... Nave of Pentacles come out, and Nave of Pentacles in this deck means I am here to offer you riches that extend beyond mere gold. A chance to make your deepest desire a real reality. Will you at least let me do this for you? Oh, wow, the angels is bringing you an opportunity. And um, you got riches in your family. Riches is coming to this into your family is what it's saying. And Ten of Swords... What what was uh, clarity for? Let, hang on a minute. What's clarity for Ten of Swords, Spirit? Four of Cups, Three of Cups. Okay, and that means, and I'm not going to do any more of these. I know y'all might get mad at me. My apathy overflows as I lie and wait within this darkness. These centuries have only aided me to focus on events that are but shadows and dust. So you're being, no wonder, I mean, you're going to get giant wealth come to you from this family that lied on your name and your family. That's what's saying to me. And and you're going to be a success in the community, Three of Cups. And Three of Cups means, I was reading, the, uh, no, I was reading the right one. And uh, Three of Cups said, it is, a, it is at moments such as this when we three are together that we recognize and celebrate the path laid before us. So um, now you're going to gain uh, rewards in your community for talking and telling about this situation. That's what it is. So Empress... You moved away from uh, this feeling stuck. You didn't know what to do. And feeling like you you was damned if you do and damned if you don't. You turned into a high priestess. You saw through the bullshit. That's why you're going to get giant blessings. And you're getting giant blessings in your love life. Here at Empress. And always, uh, always you had to stand up for yourself. Or whoever this person is that fell wounded was a third party in your life. And you had to get rid of this person. And it was a queen of pentacles is who you had to get rid of. And she was trying to come between your relationship for a swords. Trying to cause blocks in your life. 
to this Queen of Swords. She uh, she didn't like maybe that you had addictions. Maybe you was addicted to cigarettes or you was addicted to this King of Pentacles. And, and the angel of love, temperance come to balance out this situation. You're balanced in your masculine and feminine, you know. And, and you're a happy family. And you're going to receive giant wealth from the divine if you'll just let if you'll just let this go. It's whatever in your mind. Let the damn depression four cups go. Don't think about it. Don't keep dwelling and thinking about lying, cheating, thieving, whatever it was in this relationship in, in, with this person that they went around slandering and lying to you in the community. What's the outcome, spirit? What What's the outcome of these people that did this to this person? Tim Prince, look. Balance. Uh, you're just you're maybe you're an earth angel. You're an earth angel. You you know how to give and receive equally. You know you're you're balanced in your masculine and feminine. What's the outcome? Here's the outcome. Hang on a minute. Okay, so you're balanced. You're being seen as the high priestess. Okay, here it is again. It already set it up there, and it, it's clarifying it once again. Clarify, clarify it again. With you're balanced, you're being you 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 can see through the veil. You're you're a channel of spirit, and there's gonna be fast communication coming to you. Look, there, quick, fast in a hurry is coming towards you high priestess and it could be a young energy it could be a young sagittarius of your uh, if you got a kid that's a sagittarius could be coming to talk to you but they're wanting to communicate swiftly to you about why you are wanting to why they're in her mode or why you're in her mode this is going inside and doing the healing this is virgo energy Maybe they want to communicate to you about this Virgo and this King of Wands was working together. So, somebody's wanting to tell you about it. This Virgo and this Sagittarius that was working together. This King of Wands, that's what it's saying to me. What else? What about the King of Wands? Oh, yeah, see? They was uh trying to sneak off. Look, our sneaky, sneaky link. C seven of swords sneaking away, acting like they hadn't did nothing, jack shit, nothing to you, and all they did is lie and slander you. That's what the fuck this means. A liar, cheat. This king of wands is a liar, cheat. That's what he is. And what else? They might have been trying to steal your money. What was they trying to sneak away with, spirit? Spirit, I can't take on him, y'all. What was they trying to sneak away with, Spirit? What are they trying to sneak away with, Spirit? What are they trying to sneak away with, Spirit? With justice. They're trying to sneak away, but justice is going to be called on this son of a bitch. Don't worry. The scales is going to be balanced. Maybe you had to call justice, but I know one thing. They might have to go to damn... They're getting ready to go to damn jail. That's what it's saying. So it's... uh. It could be it's it's uh you're gonna get communication uh, from Miss Virgo. It you saw through the veil and you started communicating why you was in hermit was because of this King of Wands that was sneaking off, acting like he didn't do nothing to your eyes. And justice is coming. You're gonna have to go to court over and clarify temperance, which is not a sword. You're gonna get communication from the judicial system. Yeah. And what about imp high priestess? And what's going to happen for you, High Priestess, is you're going to be a success in the community. Look, you're going to be having gatherings with your friends and family in the community or having a partnership with someone in the community is bringing giant blessings, giant pinnacles to you. Ooh, thank you for that. And what about Page of Swords? We'll take that reading, won't we, you guys? Page of Swords is coming sad. They want to communicate to you about this emperor. That's... This is the clarifying uh, page of swords. This is what they're... You're going to get wealth coming from this emperor, this man who's of high standing in the community. He, he rules the whole damn kingdom. He wants to have a happy life with you. Look at our Ten of Cups. He wants to marry you. He wants to have children with you. 
He wants to marry you. It says it again. He wants, you'll have joy and success in your marriage is what it's saying with this man. That's your emperor. So don't you damn worry. And people might be a gossiping about in the community, but we don't give a shit and clarify the king of wands. Oh, clarify the Herman I meant. Yeah, the hanged man. This, this got illuminated to you. How they was trying to get you called up into a, a two. This, this man was trying to get you called up into something with him. He just wanted you tied to him any fucking way that he could be. And no. And can you clarify King of Wands' ass? Oh, here what it is. It come to light. It come to light that he was trying to have you bound and tied to him. See that? See her how she's bound and tied? I know these are hard to see, but. It come to light that you're going to be a joy success because this son of a bitch was wanting you tied to him any way he could. And he wanted you to feel like, uh, what did this say? He wanted you to feel like, uh, you was defeated. That's what it is. But don't you worry. Clark is, this motherfucker is going to be feeling defeated and out of sorts now. What about... Uh, Seven of Swords, about Seven of Swords, sneaky link, sneaking off the way, acting like they didn't do shit. Oh, the High Priest. So this is, um, uh, it, it could be a, a Taurus, and it was upside down. So this is a dark spiritualist in the community because it's upside down. See, there's how he looks upright, but he's upside down. So, uh, you was having to watch your step. And everything that you said or did, because he was going and running and telling it to this dark, dark person around him, a dark spiritualist, a dark religious person, somebody that's in a mason group or cult, that's what it can also down mean, okay? He was trying to sneak off, trying to fuck with uh, your marriage, but it's in an upside down, so it's a dirty Taurus is what it's saying, and justice is... A dirty Taurus and dirty Sagittarius. What about, what's the justice? What's the justice is for this son of a bitch here? He's crying over spilt milk. Oh, he's going to be feeling like a biggest pile of shit. What else is the justice? What's the justice for the good person? What else is the justice? The justice is you, you're a hope and an inspiration to all, Star. That's the justice. You're, you're good. You don't have nothing to worry about. People love you. You pour out your love to everyone. And, and you know, you could be a king of swords. You you know, a king of swords could love you. and uh, Or you're just standing up strong. You know how to cut these people placing things off. And you could be uh, getting ready to have a job in law and criminal. That's, that's the justice. You're a law-abiding citizen. That's what it damn means. And that's the justice. There's lying saying you this and that, and it's a fucking lie. That's what it's saying to me. Well, I love y'all, and I hope this message helps y'all out there daily, Libra. I hate to cut it short, but I'm, I mean, I have to because some of my readings are uploading. I love y'all, and peace. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Later.